Okay, so we're ready to talk about the cow-calf side and doing a unit cost of production on a cow-calf enterprise. So first thing you want to do is get the cow-calf spreadsheet. And again, we start at the tabs. The first tab just is the introduction. Gives my name and contact information, and then we start into the production profile. Uh, so section one is production profile, and here's where we essentially see how good our ranch is doing in terms of the production side of the enterprise. So uh, let me switch over and show some uh, basic concept things here before we get going. Um, <clears throat> first of all, it, what it, what is unit cost of production? Well, a unit cost of production is what does it cost you to produce a pound of steer calf or whatever it is that you're marketing. You want to break that down in terms of your cost to produce whatever unit of commodity is that that's that's what you're marketing. So, uh, but if you think about the things that it, unit cost of production on the ranch and it includes, it's the herd's total cost on top divided by the total pounds produced on the bottom and it simply is a ratio so if uh, if you think about that on the ranch everything that goes on on the ranch is generally represented in this ratio so if uh, you're talking inputs you're talking costs you're talking expenses it goes up here if you're talking production in terms of it's going to raise more pounds of calf or maybe we had a a disaster that's going to cost us in terms of pounds of calf then that's going to impact this ratio down here so everything that goes on inside of the cow calf enterprise on the ranch can be accounted for in this ratio somehow it's either a cost side or it's a return side so um <clears throat> And why do we do this? Well, variations among cow-calf ranches are huge. Uh, if you look at this graph that goes clear back into the 80s, you can see the high-profit ranches are generally making money every year, even in the down years when when beef uh, when prices of calves was low. Uh, as those prices go up, they make a lot of money. Uh, the low-return producers, those folks that have high costs, uh, generally are never making a profit on their cow-calf enterprise. Okay, There's a few years when prices got really high where they did make some money, but for the most part, they are generally a break-even or a losing money type of operation. So so there's a huge variation among uh, profitability in the cow-calf business. So why do we do unit cost of production? Well, it helps you determine where you fall in this ratio. And if you're in the middle or on the low end, uh, we're going to help you identify some strategies to move yourself towards the higher profit uh, side of that ratio. So, All right, so let's jump back into this. So uh, as we sit down to think about the, the production side of a ranch, the first thing we're going to need is our number of beef cows. And uh, there's two times of the year to count cows. And I'm going to jump back over here and, and show you this because it's easier to see on a graphic. Um, if you look at the at the year, uh, a ranch's year, we so if we're looking at, let's say we're looking at 2010 numbers. So we've got January 1st, 2010, and we've got December 31st, 2010. So the first number that I'm going to ask you for is the number of cows on the ranch. So, uh, And we're going to look at a January 1 inventory. So if you count cows on January 1st, and then at the end of the year you count them on December 31st, or January 1st again, uh, there you have that count, beginning inventory, ending inventory. There's one other number we're going to be interested in, and that's the number of females exposed to breeding that previous year. So let's say you turn out bulls uh, back here in the summer or late spring, um, that's the number we're going to look for for females exposed. So two times a year to count cows on the ranch, first is on January 1st, and then the second is when you turn out the bulls. So let's come back in here and show how that how that works in terms of the of the spreadsheet. Okay, <clears throat> so there's your January number of beef cows, and then right underneath that is January one number of bred heifers. So these are our producing females on the ranch as of January first. So let's look at the Lugnut Ranch description. Here we are. We've already done the land business, so we can go down underneath that, and, and here's our cow calf business. January one inventory: cows, bred heifers, heifer calves, bulls, females exposed to breeding in 2009. Here's our end of year inventory, December 31st. Okay, and these are some estimated market values, and we'll sh we'll show you how those work here in a little while. But uh, what I want you to pay attention to is January 1 inventory, December 31st inventory, and then also the inventory of females exposed to breeding the the previous breeding season. So, okay, so we'll plug those numbers in. Uh, just one little note on this is as we sit down to do ranch financials, uh, a lot of folks are often um, a little intimidated by this process. 
And generally, these numbers right here are the hardest numbers to come to uh, when we sit down to do a, 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 an a, a enterprise analysis with a ranch is the, is the number of cows. We generally have to work our way back and think about buy-sell interactions that happened over the last year to come up with these numbers. So if, if you just think it as simple as counting cows twice a year, that's the best way to do it. So count cows January 1 and it will turn out. All right. I'm going to show you a couple things here. As we entered the number, January 1 number of beef cows, I've got 285. Number of bred heifers is 40. Number of heifer calves is zero. Uh, and the reason that is, is this ranch has chosen to enterprise their heifer uh, heifer development. So essentially what happens is, again, we're looking at these different things going on on the ranch as distinct enterprises. So uh, and all we're looking at now is the cow-calf enterprise. So what this ranch does for accounting purposes is at in the fall when those calves are weaned, every calf is essentially sold in terms of the cow-calf enterprise. They may not leave the ranch, uh, but they are sold to the to the stalker business. Okay, uh, some of those calves are sold for cash. The steer calves are, and and they go down the road. Uh, others of them are, um, and the heifer calves are simply transferred to the stocker business. So in terms of the fall of the year, this ranch does not own any heifer calves. Now, these heifer calves will be bought back in uh, the following fall uh, as they uh, are bred heifers and, and come from the stocker enterprise. So that's why that number is zero. Okay, SPA adjusted females exposed. SPA is a program that was developed through the IRM process, and that's just a term uh, that, that allow these adjusted females exposed. That's essentially how many females did you expose to breeding the previous year. Uh, the reason the SPA adjusted is in there is if you want to use this worksheet here and go through to help figure that, it allows you to remove from your production figures uh, females that you had marked for coal before turning the bull out. So let's say you had some cows that you knew you were going to get rid of, but you wanted to go ahead and try to breed them to sell them as breads instead of opens in the fall. Well, you can go ahead and, and take those off of your female exposed numbers that you're not uh, counting an excessive number of opens in that group from uh, from your production figure. So uh, for this one we're just going to use right down here in our ranch description females exposed to breeding in 2009 this 364 we're just going to use that number so I'll plug that in there 364 cows and heifers exposed that bred again go back to our ranch description here um, Females determined bred in the fall, 325, and we had 319 calves born. So 325, 319. All right, now we get into some um, numbers and weaning weights, steers, heifers, and bulls. And bulls are just bull calves if you want to distinguish those, mark those as different. Each one of these fields you can uh, add things to or take them away if they work for you, if they don't work for you. Uh, so steers and heifers is all this ranch is going to keep track of. Uh, calves weaned in the fall of 2010, 137 steer calves and they average 515. 137 steer calves and they average 515. And our heifer calves were 166 averaging 475. Okay, double check those numbers. One thing you can see here is again the spreadsheet's going to do the math for you. It's going to calculate total pounds weaned. It's going to add up the total number of calves. So somehow we had 319 live calves born uh, and we weaned 303 calves. Total number of cows culled. Go back in here to our sheet. Cows culled 39 and 5 cows died. Okay, 39 five cows died. And here we can keep track of calves that died uh, and that would be after we have live calf to weaning. So we had 16 calves die. Okay, so as we've been entering these numbers, you'll see that the sheet does some calculations for us. It'll figure in our pregnancy percentage, our pregnancy loss, our culling percentage, calving percentage, all these different things. The one that I really like to pay attention to is right down here at the bottom, 
pounds weaned per female exposed. And that, that number right there gives you a really clear picture of the whole production of this ranch. So anything that can happen on the ranch in a production side is taken into account in that number right there. So if we weren't able to get cows bred, if we had heavy calf losses at calving, if we had losses between calving and weaning, if we had light calves or heavy calves, whatever that, whatever that can happen production side, it's taken into account in that number right there. So that necessarily, that doesn't translate to profitability. And we'll We'll see that later on, uh, but uh, it just gives you a, a picture of the production side of this ranch. So this ranch is raising 410 pounds of calf for every female exposed. So that's the production tab of the cow-calf uh, um, unit cost of production spreadsheet. So we're ready to go on to the gross income side.